Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the ships of naval action. Today we're taking a look at another big boy, the biggest ship in game. Not the heavily, most heavily armed, but definitely the biggest, the Ocean. So the Ocean, she was 120 gun, free deck, first rate, ship of the line, designed by Sane, something like that. And she was ordered as the Atas de Bourgogne and launched in 1790, not 1970, 1790. So she uh, was built during the French Revolutionary period, which meant that she went through several name changes. She was uh, Cote d'Or, Montagné, Peuple, and finally L'Océan. And uh, as L'Océan, she uh, served until 1855. So she is the time the ocean class or the commerce de Messe class were one of the were the biggest ships of the line just period they were uh, bigger than the Nuestra Señora de la Santísima Trinidad which was one of the bigger ships before the ocean the Santísima has a lot more guns 140 guns versus 120 but the uh, Ocean was a much better sailor and a better gun platform so the Ocean class or commerce de Messe class were a popular series. I think there were 15 of them built, which is uh, not a small feat considering how expensive first rates were. However, the first two in the class, the Commerce de Marseille, which was never used by the French practically, and the Ocean did uh, suffer from being the lead ships of the class. So the Ocean had to go through extensive refitting and repair within the first decade simply due to her size, which big ships, they're it wears down on the structure, we're still just talking wooden ships. And she was the biggest ship at the time. And uh, also just her being the first, that they were uh, uh, growing pains, I guess, with the class. And Ocean faced the brunt of it. She did see use, however, with the French. And Ocean class also uh, were uh, in use. And one famously blew up at the bottle of the Nile. I don't remember which one particularly, but it was also an ocean class. But the ocean herself, or the Océan, she uh, was uh, the biggest ship and therefore she spent a lot of time as a flagship in her early career, where uh, she was as Montagné, one of her earlier names. She was uh, the flagship of Rear Admiral Villette Jouez in uh, the Combat de Pradiel or the Glorious First of June in uh, 1794 where uh, she was badly damaged by HMS Royal Sovereign, where she lost 313 men, receiving a total of 233 shots in her hull. That's uh, quite a beating. On the 17th of May, 1795, as Popol, she bought, fought in the Battle of uh, Groix as uh, Villeret's flagship. And uh, she returned to Lorient three days later after the battle and was renamed Ocean and in Brest 1797, she was uh, refitted, extensive rework because of her damage taken from, I guess, battle, as well as just age. In 1801, she served as Validette's flagship ferrying troops of uh, the Le Kirk expedition to Saint Dominique. And uh, finally, she was Allemans, which was a French admiral flagship at the Battle of uh, Basque Roads and uh, that is it for our history in uh, 1850 she was decommissioned and uh, was used as a floating battery so the ocean she has uh, quite an extensive history she went through a uh, three proper fleet battles I believe that's uh, not bad at all let's see one two three I have three unless I'm missing something so she had a good history of battles, even though she suffered, of course, from being uh, uh, an earlier ocean or Commerce de Marseille class ship. She was a big boy, though. She had uh, a huge complement, her armament as well, we'll get to that. 36 pounders, 24 pounders, standard uh, first rate ship of the line kind of armament. She hit her hard, not as hard as the Santissima Trinidad, but... She sailed better, and honestly, with how terribly the Santissima sails. Yeah, I, I, I do prefer the ocean. And uh, we'll get to the ocean in uh, naval action as well. 
So uh, on the screen now you will be able to see your stats or rather the stats of my ocean. I, I love my ocean as you have probably been able to see I have painted her in this uh, lovely red color. I, I actually like this uh, paint job quite a lot. You might disagree. And uh, the ocean for being a first rate I think she's uh, quite a decent looker. She looks a hell of a lot better than uh, the Santissima. She has a lot more curves and everybody knows real ship have curves. She also sails a lot better. Sadly, of course, her armament is a bit weaker. Consisting of uh, 32, 42 pounders on her gun deck, bottom gun deck, 24 pounders on her middle and 12 pounders on her upper gun deck. And on her weather deck, I have thrown in some 42 pound carronades, which they do the job. I'm running all long guns except for carronades. And I enjoy her. She is uh, decently agile. She isn't extremely agile. The Victory is a lot more agile and faster. But the Victory, in my opinion, is the fast and agile one. The Ocean is the big... A lot of crew. She has like 1100 crew. That's pretty good. I do wish that in-game the Lochian had more structure because she is a lot bigger than the Victory, but has about similar structure. Isn't really right, in my opinion. But she has a lot more crew. You can easily man both broadsides. No problem with her. She is better sailor than the Santissima, which is really why I would take her, the Ocean, over the Santissima. I would honestly... In terms of other stats, Victory, like, Victory seems more appealing other than her crew, like 850 crew. It's uh, a lot more lacking. But the Ocean, she is a solid ship in naval action. She is a good looking first rates. And I don't think first rates are particularly attractive. Third rates or second rates, those are my favorite ships. But she's still a good looking first rate. She's not ugly like the Santisma. Oh, sorry about that. And in naval action, she is a solid ship, and I could highly recommend her. So, I do hope you all enjoyed this quick little video on the Ocean class. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and all of that, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!